Okay, very good, Jorge. I can barely hear you. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. I think I cannot see you again. Let me see. Uh, hello. Hello.
Now it's 8.02, we are going to start with the class, right? Just let me make sure here. I don't know why this computer doesn't accept my headsets. So give me a second. Okay, Claudia, can you speak? Hello. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Now, we are going, hello, David. Nice to see you today. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to start working here with these activities for today. Today is video conferencia numero siete, right? Video conference number seven, and we are going to continue practicing with, with the simple present, right? Yesterday, we practiced with the simple present. The name of the, of the video conference is different. It's just no questions, but we are going to practice with a simple present today as well, okay? Now, I am going to show you my computer here so we can start. Give me a second. Okay, how many people now? Okay. So for the English of Work, Pro National English for Work program, module one, we start with the competences. Emerson, read number one. Okay. Describe my job, position, and the activities that I perform every day at work. Okay, very good. Number two. Please, Angela. Okay, teacher, describe and partners and daily routine, routines at work. Very good. Describe a partner's daily routine at work. Eh, very good, very good. Eh, let's see who else, Leida. Hi, Leida, number three. Leida, oh Leida, Leida Es Three me dijo, ¿verdad? Number three, yes. Ask partners questions about their daily routines and give, permítame que me tapa esto. Give answers about my routine. Routine. Very good. Give answers about my routine. Very good. And number four, Abidail. Are any question about someone and set daily routine and say what they do? I don't. Or don't. Excellent job. Excellent job. Very good. So there we are, right? Like I said, this is video conferencia numero siete. Just no questions and short answers, but with simple present, okay? With simple present. Remember that yesterday, yesterday we practiced with simple present. Before we continue, let me stop here. Before we continue, I need you to help me and I need you to remember, I need you to remember what were the vocabulary, what was the vocabulary that we practiced yesterday? 
There were many words yesterday that we practiced. Ayer practicamos muchas palabras, mucho vocabulario. So I need you to tell me what did we practice? No? No se recuerdan? Yes, teacher. Um, okay. Eh, lo de. Estábamos viendo lo del verbo de. Con las oraciones afirmativas. Ok. Negativas, donde teníamos que usar el verbo auxiliar do. Ok. Auxiliary verb do. Ok, very good. Auxiliary verb do. Excellent job. Very good. What else? Eh, entiendo que eso solo se debe utilizar en las, en las eh, oraciones negativas. Negative. Ok. Ok. Previous knowledge. Very good. Auxiliary two. Very good. What other things do you remember? Anybody else? Um, Ricardo, Claudia, Nelson, Abidaí, Leida. Um, Thank you, Angie. I remember occupation. Uh, assistant financial. Assistant? Financial. Oh, financial assistant. Yes. Okay. Yes, assistant. financial assistant. Excellent. Financial assistant. Okay, what's another one? Another thing that you remember? Leida. Eh, el mío. Okay, what? What is it? Is, eh, Ser, no. And service then. coordinator. Service coordinator. Very good. We learned service coordinator. Very good. What else do you remember from yesterday's class? Norma? Norma? Teacher. Yes. Sorry, no es financial assistant, es financial analyst. Okay, fine. But financial assistant is correct. Financial analyst is another one. Very good. Financial analyst. Very good, Nelson. Okay. Oh, we're in oh Claudia says the verse like drink, take, eat, brush and sleep. Excellent job, Claudia. A lot of verbs. Claudia remembers a lot of verbs. Oof, that's a lot. Very good, Claudia. Just give me one second. I'm gonna turn off my fan. Okay, there we are. Okay, so what else? Is that it? Eso fue todo allá? Nada más? Um. Quiero ver lo de la, con, la conversación de. Okay, but how do you say it in English, de, Angela? How do you say it in English? Uh, um, conversation. The conversation. Conversation because um, my names, um, middle names, Present. last names. Oh, press um, conversations with yeah. simple present. present. Okay. Present. Personal information. My name is, Personal my information. middle name is, my last name. Very good. I see here more examples. Okay, Abigail says farmer, dentist, and Janet says, match activities with occupations. Very good. Farmer, that's vocabulary. Farmer and dentist. Very good. Okay. Dentist, dentist. Excellent, excellent. 
and simple present. Yes, Emerson, simple present was the most important thing that we saw yesterday. Look, many things in two hours, right? Many, many things in two hours. So let's continue here. Any questions about this? Any questions? Do you have a question about this? I don't have any question. You don't have any questions. Okay, yeah. let's continue then. I'm going to stop sharing. And before we do it, can we repeat the use of simple present? Yes, we are going to repeat the use of simple present today, Claudia. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, but in a moment, okay? In a moment. Before that, I am going to call the, attends the attendance. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay, Claudia. Eh, Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Teacher, present teacher. Very good. Asalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Claudia Inet Ramos Hernandez. Present teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martinez. Present teacher. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eneida Jasmine Hernandez Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernandez Valle. Present teacher. Franco Damian Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernandez Hernandez. Juan Josué. Down here. Okay. Leida Azucena Sorto. Present. Nancy Maria Serrano Chacón. Nancy Maria. Okay. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Cheves. Norma Carolina Mata de Cheves. No. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Nancy Maria says present teacher. Tengo mala señal de internet. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. José Alfonso Palma. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, very good. So, we are going to continue here and I have one exercise for you that I'm pretty sure that you will like. You're going to like this exercise. With this exercise, you are going to practice right here. Let me show you. This exercise here. It says here, complete the following conversation. In this conversation, we are going to complete here with the parts that are missing. This is a basic conversation to introduce yourself with personal information, okay? Now, letter A says, are you Ashley Nevins, right? Are you Ashley Nevins? And all the answers are in the box. Right. When we have there, are you Ashley Nevins? All the answers are there in the box. What do you think is the second answer? Can you see the, the, the presentation? No, right? Yes. yes? Yes. What do you think is the second answer from the box? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, well, let me let me stop sharing because this thing got stuck. Okay, what's your name? But it says, hi, are you Ashley Nevins? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 
What's your name? Okay, what's your name? The answer is carry more, right? Carry more. Can you see the conversation? No. No, right? Okay, give me a moment, please. We're going to close the program. Vamos a cerrar acá la PowerPoint. Give me a second. Okay, what we are going to do right now is that I'm going to put you in groups, right? Because this conversation is for you to remember the use of the verb be, and you are going to practice the conversation, okay? You're going to do two things. First, you complete the conversation. You have, for example, what's your name, right? Then we have here, give me a moment. I will show you again. Okay. Now, please take a screenshot of the conversation that I am going to show you right now. Take a screenshot. And like Franco was saying, right? The next answer here, right, is going to be here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Carrie Moore, right? What do you think is the next answer here? If it says K E R R Y. How do you spell carry? How do you spell carry? Okay. But look at look at the information here in the box. What is the best option? How do you spell uh, your first name? And how, how do, do you, you spell, spell your last name? How do you spell your first name? For example, my first name is Silvia. My last name is Ramos, right? So how do you spell your first name? K-E-R-R-Y, right? And we are going to do the same with the others, okay? So take a screenshot, take a screenshot, and we are going to practice in groups to finish the conversation and to practice with the pronunciation. This exercise is easy, right? Very, very easy. So we're going to practice and then we are going to share the conversation. Are you ready? Tomaron el screenshot? La captura de pantalla? Teacher. Yes? Teacher. ¿Qué quiere decir? Very, very, como dijo, podría repetir por si teacher, en inglés. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? ¿Qué quiere decir en Spanish? Que está fácil. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Very, very easy. Let me put it here on the chat. It's okay. Very, very easy. It is, it is very easy. It is very easy. Ok, now. Let's go ahead and work in pairs, in groups. We're going to work in groups. Okay, we're going to work in groups of three or four, right? And let's go, let's go. Let's do this right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we can start working in groups. Select your group.
Please, Angela, select the group. No sé si están listos. O... Sí. Sí, están listos. Yes. Yes, yes. ¿Y don Juan? Don Juan, está ahí. Juan, ¿estás listo? Hola, ready? Diga. Ready. ¿Está listo? Sí, ok. Si gustan, ¿verdad? Este, eh, inicio con una persona, luego esta persona continúa con otra y así sucesivamente. Claro. ¿Les parece bien? Yes. Yes. Ok. Voy a iniciar entonces con eh, Don Juan. Hi. Are you eh, eh, Pedro López? Norma me escucha. Hello, Norma, ¿me escucha? Norma, ¿me escucha? Sí. Sí, eh, no aceptó el equipo el que había sido designada. Tiene que aceptar no. la invitación. Ajá, lo que pasa es que me recordé que como voy entrando y se dijo que es que me salí porque me estaba fallando el internet. Y luego ahorita acabo de regresar, pero me recordé que usted dijo que mejor esperáramos cuando estaban haciendo grupo. Ah, sí, pero como yo le asigné a una porque usted estaba en la, en la explicación. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿puede por favor darle unirse al equipo? Vale. Gracias, Norma. Bueno. No, 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 sí, sí está bien, porque como no es mi nombre, sería, no hay en... Sí, por eso, como estamos practicando Ajá, lo que es okay. el tema de sí. Y haría, what is your name? What is your name? Uh -huh. Ok, what is your name? Vaya, comencemos del principio. Ok. okay. Franco, let's start ¿Sí? again. Let's start again. Ok. Hi, are you Ashley Navins? No. I am not. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like... What's your name? Uh, okay. Uh, Eneida Hernandez. My name is Eneida Hernandez. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you spell your first? Okay, ahí termina, ¿cierto? Sí. Okay, ahora haga las mismas preguntas las que yo le hice a otra persona. Ok, vamos a ver. Pedrina. Yes. Hi. Are you uh, Ashley Nevis? No, I am not. What's oh, your name? I'm sorry. What's your name? Uh, Very more, what, what do you speak your first name? No. What's your name? <laughs> Su nombre, Padrina. Ah, I am Iliana Gomez. Okay. How do you spell your first name? Pe, pe, I am I, your name, Pedrina. Le, le pide que se lo deletre. Espero. Ah. Ah, ah, yes, perfecto, perdón, perdón. 
you you e is p r la primera es p p p e Two phone number. Phone number. Phone number. Phone number. Le contesta. It. It. C. One H. Five five five. Seven. Seven one two. Zero. Tu zero. Ajá. Tu zero. Y de ahí le, si le pregunta por el. Zero. En, uh -huh. your email address? En. En what. Your. En email. Address. Address. Ahí le contesta. Es. It uh -huh. more more eh, eight ninety man ninety eh, arroba no me dash, no me acuerdo cómo se arroba at 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 eh, that, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. That. 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 O R G. Uh -huh. O R G. Vaya, así sería. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to stop here and we're going to go with the others, okay? Let's go. Okay. Hello everyone, you're coming back. Hi. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. How was the practice? Good? Yes. Did you answer all of the questions? Uh, uh, um, yes. Question. Okay, now let's see here. Pra practice, no. You didn't practice? <laughs> Okay, Asalia, don't worry. You are going to practice right now. Okay? Who was in your group, Asalia? Francis and... Ay, 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 se me olvidó. Lo siento, José. José. <laughs> okay, José and eh, Asalia. Okay, very good. Uh, Asalia, choose one person, José or Francis. Choose one person, Asalia. Jose or Francis. Um, Escoja Jose. uno. Jose, okay. Jose. Okay, so you start. You are letter A. Jose is letter B. Francis, you are going to participate in a moment. Okay, wait. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Are you actually needing no, I am not. Oh, I am no. sorry. Uh, what's your name? Kerry Moore. Uh, how do you spell your... Your? Mr. Palma? Who, who, who do you spell for an name? First name. First name, ¿verdad? Yes. Gary. No, spell it. K. K E R. K E R R J. Okay, listen. K. K. 
E E R R R R R Y Y Y Y Okay, very good. Continue. Mr. Palma. Uh, okay. And, and how? No. Uh, are you? No. No, no, perdón. And, uh, and, and how do you spell for last name? How do you spell for last name? Mm -hmm. M or or R E. No, 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 no. You are Ashley Nevins. Right? You are uh, not uh, Ashley Nevins. Asalia is going to answer. Ask the question. And how do you spell your last name? Ask the you, question. Are you no, 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 no. Aquí va, mire, aquí va. Aquí va. Después de Kerry. De Kerry. Mm -hmm. Hagan la pregunta. Uh, are you last name? Ashley Nevis. No, okay. No, and Mr. How Palma, do you spell hmm? for last give me name? a moment, give me a moment. Okay. Mr. Palma, listen yeah. to the conversation. Listen to the conversation, okay? Okay. Look at the conversation, please. Now, you are here. Mr. Palma, you are going to say the answer, the question here. What is the question? Mm. La dos. Okay, Asalia. Wait. Wait, Asalia. Mr. Palma. I is, what is the question here? I who do you spell this last name? Okay. Asalia. M O O R E. Okay, very good. Mr. Palma, continue. Where did you phone number? It's six one eight five 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 seven one two zero. Zero. Very good. Zero. Very good. Mr. Mm -hmm. Palma? I was your email address. It's it's Kemor K Kemor mm -hmm. one nine mm. arrow mm -hmm. C U B Mr. Palma wait is a Celestine or R G. Okay, very good. Give an applause to Mr. Palma and Asalia. Very good, very good, very thank good. You, thank you. Excellent thank you. job. Thank very you. good. Es primera vez que practicaban. Very good, very good. Sí. Let's see Ricardo. Choose another. Oh, Ricardo and Francis. Okay. Ricardo, you yes. are Ashley. So you are letter B. Okay. Francis, a star. Letter A. Hi. Are you Ashley Nevi? No, I'm not. Oh, I am sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you spell your first name? Aquí. How do you spell? Is this the answer that you're looking for? Look at the answer, Francis. Carry more. What's the answer? Carry more. What's the question? How, how do you do spell? You, how do you spell your first name? No. Nope. What is the question if I ask you this? If I say this, carry more, what's the question? Esa es la respuesta, carry more. 
¿Cuál es la, cuál es la pregunta? Si usted dice, Francis Humberto, ¿cuál es la pregunta que le he hecho? My name is. Very good. My name is Francis Humberto. That is the answer. What is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta, Francis, que tiene que, 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 que corresponde a la respuesta de Kerry Moore? Yes, oh, Francis. Feel... No. No. What's no your es... name? What's your name? Very good. Continue, Ricardo. Every more. How do you spell your first name? A E R R Y. Very good. Continue, okay. Francis. Uh, how do you spell your last name? Excellent. M O O R E. Hmm. Francis, continue. And uh, and what's your what's your phone number? Mm -hmm. It's six one eight uh, five 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 seven one two zero. Very good. And what's your email address? It's Kmore one night. At cup, no sé cómo se dice punto. That, mm -hmm. that, or, or, okay, very good. Give them an applause. Very good job. Very good. Very good. Now, things that we need to remember about this conversation, okay? How do we say the addresses, right? How do we say the addresses in English? That's very important, right? Now, there are things that we need to remember from this conversation, right? And the most important are two things, right? The first one is, give me one moment. What is your phone number? This is personal information. And what is your phone number? It's, and you will say number by number, right? What are the numbers that we use usually in English, right? We use number one, two, three, which is this one, right? Four, five, and then we also have, give me one second. We also have other numbers here. Six. Right. We have six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and zero, but with telephone numbers, you can say, O. Oh. okay? O. Oh. So these are going to be the numbers that we are going to use if we want to say our phone number, okay? Our phone number. We go with one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero, and O. Right? So in English, we're going to say the phone numbers one by one. So what is your phone number? It's 
or you can say my phone number is right it's seven seven four four two two five four okay we don't say 77, 44, 22, 50, no. 7, 7, 4, 4, 2, 2, 5, 4. Okay. Long answer. My phone number is 7, 7, 4, 4, 2, 2, 5, 4. Right? That's for the phone number, right? This is the question. This is the possible answer. Now, Emerson, what is your phone number? My, my phone number is six, zero, zero, six, zero, six, Four A two. Four A two. Very good. Emerson, ask Mr. Palma. Okay. Mr. Palma, what is your phone number? My phone number is seven seven six six two two five four. Five, four. Okay, very good. Mr. Palma, ask Francis. Francis, what's your phone number? My phone number is seven one nine zero three seven zero three. Okay, zero. Zero. Francis, repeat. Zero. Zero. Zero or zero? No. Zero. Zero. Z remember the letter Z? Zero. Zero. Or you can say O. O. Como le hace la abeja. Exactly. O. Cuando usted está diciendo el número del teléfono solamente, pueden decir O. O. O, like this. O. Now, let's continue. What is the other question that we need to pay attention to? The other question here, let me put here. And I need you to pay attention to. The other question is, what is your email address? Nowadays, email addresses are very important, okay? They are very important because we are working from home, right? So we need to have an email address. What's your email address? My email address is my, I'm gonna give you my, ramos.sylvia19 at gmail.com, right? That is mine. Now, what are the symbols that we are going to use? In the, in the email address, we use the symbol at, pronunciation, at. At. Okay. At, arroba, at, at. right? <laughs> Then this one, this little thing, look at that little thing, is dot. Very good, dot. It's not point. Point is for math. Point is for mathematics, point. Point is for numbers, for mathematics, right? And that is for email addresses, for technology, okay? And if you say period, it's para gramática. It's for grammar. It's a little thing. It's a little puntito. Esa cosita chiquita. Tiene tres nombres. Para matemáticas se va a llamar point. Okay. Para matemáticas. Point. Like this. Miren. 
Se lo voy a poner solo para que no lo vayan a confundir. Point. If we use it for math. And period. When we're talking about grammar. Okay. And that is for technology. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Now, also in emails, let's suppose that my email had something like this. Let me remove. Something like this. Look at this. Let me make it bigger. I don't like it. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. On the core. Underscore. Very good. Very good. We have there. Delete. This one here. This one. Este de acá. Este de acá en medio. Entre el uno y la letra A. Right? This one is called underscore underscore right underscore and there is another one oopsie there is another one that we use right and that is not underscore it's just like this right this is if. dash 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 it is, for example, if you have something like this. Let's suppose you that have. Is... Perdón, teacher, entonces en el correo sería at, at dot. No. Why at dot? At gmail.com. At gmail.com. No puede ser at dot. At email.com. Yes, that email is read right now. Ramos that Silvia underscore 19 at gmail.com. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Now, we are going to keep practicing here. Right now, we are going to practice. We're going to, to do a small practice in the book right here let me show you the book and if we can Uy, un mensaje le cayó. give me a moment <laughs> now right here give me one second because this computer is giving me a little bit of problem right now but you have your manuals for unit two, right? So we're going to work with, right now, let's go to page, open your module one, please, your, your book, and go to page 20, two zero. Go to page 20. Okay, on page 20, on your book, Right there, we have we have one exercise that says and scramble the sentences with the words provided using simple present. Right? Number one, it says is is something crazy because you have a lot of words, a lot of things there, right? You don't have just one thing, you have many things in that exercise. And it says keep they companies track financial accounts of of you are going to use the word of two times imagine two times so how can we fix that conversation right oh nelson hyphen hyphen is for names nelson Hyphen is for names. For example, when we have someone, my last name is hyphenated. My real last name is Ramos hyphen Ramos. No me preguntan por qué. No les voy a decir. Right? But it's Ramos hyphen Ramos. 
hyphen is only used for names, right? For names. In the United States, it's very common that people hyphen their names. That's very common. Okay, so let's do the exercise. Exercise on page 20, exercise five. And scramble the sentences with the words provided using the simple present, right? What do they say in the sentences? In the first one, what do they say in the sentences? Let's do the first one together. Yes. La página es la 20. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Yes, page 20. Yes. Oh, no. Page. Yes, yes, page 20. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Page 20. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's, let me show you here the exercise. This is the same exercise that we see there. The first one, if you look at this, this is what we're going to do. This it says, I every day notes in the meeting stake. Eso está loco, está, está malo, right? Lo vamos a componer. We're gonna fix it. And it's going to say, I take notes in the meetings in the meeting. every, day. every day, right? Ya le di una. Let's do the other three. Right, and we are going to do this individually, right? Individually. This is the same exercise on page 20. Page 20. Okay, exercise five. Very easy exercise. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to stop sharing. And tell me if you have a question. Tell me if you have a question so I can help you, okay? Do you finish? No, teacher. No, no teacher. not yet. Not. Okay, let me know if you have questions, please. Vamos a ocupar las palabras que están ahí. Yes, those are the ones that we're going to use. Esas palabras vamos a usar exactamente esas. Okay, while you're working, voy a tomar mi ventaja del tiempo. Mientras ustedes trabajan, yo paso la asistencia, ¿ok? Para no desperdiciar más tiempo. <ríe> ok.
Let's see here. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Claudia Yanet Ramos Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Okay. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Azucena Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nancy María. Ok. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. No. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Okay. Solo que encienda su camarita, Sandra, por Insafor. Sorry. Sorry, estoy viendo el libro en el teléfono. Ah, ok. <risa> Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Uy, no se le oye. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. And José Alfonso Palma. Present. Very good, very good. Okay. Did you finish now? No yet? Oh, yeah, no? Yes. Yes, yes, Jenny, yes. Teacher. Present. Jennifer says present. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we have. Let's see what we have as answers there. I would like to see your answers. Okay, give me one moment. And let's share here the computer so you can share your answers, okay? Now, the first one is done. It says, I, to I take notes in the meetings every day, right? What could be the second one, Claudia Janet? Don't on internet, the company advertise we. Uh, we advertise the company don't on internet. Okay, we advertise. We advertise. Uh huh. Company. Company. Oh, the company. Okay, that company. Okay. We advertise the company. Don't. Don't. On. Internet. On. Internet. Okay on internet okay good now look at this sentence everyone now i want you to remember subject verb complement okay subject verb complement and i want you to remember the same for example if i say I take notes in the meetings every day. Is that sentence affirmative or negative? Affirmative. It is affirmative, very good. I want to make that sentence in negative. Okay, what could be the answer? I take notes in the meetings every day is affirmative. 
Okay, say the whole sentence, please. We don't. We okay, don't. tell me the whole sentence. Don't, no me la haces negativa. Me usted tiene que decir la oración completa. Nelson. We, we don't, don't advertise the company no, on no. internet. Okay, no. we are in, I take notes in the meetings every day. How do you make that sentence negative? This one. This I one. Don't take. I don't, very good. I don't take notes in the meetings every day. Okay, very good. I take notes in the meeting every day. Very good. Now, based on this, based on what we just did, Claudia, how can we make this correct? Nelson, Angela, all of them, they gave you help, right? They gave you some help. How can we make this sentence correct? What is wrong with that sentence, Claudia? Algo está mal en esa oración. ¿Cómo la podemos hacer correcta, Claudia? Su compañero ya le ayudaron con la primera. Ya Nelson ya le dijo la negativa, Ángela, Salia. Ahora, ¿cómo podemos corregir esta? La... Okay. okay. Where, Claudia? Where should I put this? We don't. We don't. Okay, we don't. Okay, very good. Remember, we don't advertise the company on internet. Right? We just do it in La Prensa Gráfica, right? We don't okay. advertise the company on internet. Very good, very good. Now, remember, subject, verb, complement, right? Let's continue with the second sentence. In the, the third sentence, I'm sorry. In the third sentence, please help me out, Angela. Okay, teacher. I, mama. They keep. They keep. They keep a top of companies' financial accounts. Of companies' financial accounts okay now in the in the exercises that you are going to use this word two times aquí dice mire two times of you're going to use it two times die. okay tell me how can we make it better how can we make this mm, teacher i no entiendo o sea Um, y hay que hacerla de las dos formas. No. ¿Cuál es la no, forma? Es, sí. Significa que eso no. usted lo va a utilizar dos veces en la oración. Exactly. Tiene que saber a dónde. Ah, ah. Exactly. Very okay. good. Ok, ok. They keep track of the company. Of the companies. No, of companies. Of, of, of company of financial account. Okay, kind of. Who wants to help Angela? Who has something different? Thank you, Angela. Who has something uh, different? Thank you, Angie. Franco, Ricardo, Mr. Palma. Who has something different? You have the same? Todos tienen lo mismo. Ok, that's amazing. Next to financial. Yo tengo, yo okay. tengo, they keep track of financial account of companies. Ok, go ahead, read this again. Read again. They keep, 
they keep track of financial account of company. Very good. Excellent. Of companies. Very good. They keep track of financial accounts of companies. Very good job. Angie, change it. Okay? Change it. Let's see. Okay, no. teacher. O sea, um... Yes. Okay, tengo que corregir. Yes, yes. Okay. Sí, eso sí, siempre, chicos. Cuando estamos así compartiendo las respuestas, es con el propósito de que si las teníamos buenas, le chequemos nosotros mismos que están buenas. Y si tiene que hacerle cambio, le hacemos los cambios. Si estuviéramos en un salón de clase, yo se las voy corriendo rapidito, pero no se puede. Entonces les toca a usted. Thank you, okay? teacher. You're welcome, Angie. Nelson. Nelson, Brian, are you there? Se fue Nelson. No, ahí aparece. Nelson. Okay, Sandra Gladys, go ahead with the last sentence. <laughs> Eh, eh, Carlos en Mauricio. Anshua. Ok, ah, Carlos en Mauricio. Uh -huh. Anshua. Anshua, ok. Anshua. Pong. Anshua. Pong. And the reception. At the reception. Anshua. Pong. At the reception. Okay, very good. Very good job. Answer fun at the reception. Very good. Very good job. So there we are. We have then the four answers. Do you have the same? Do you have the same? Tienen las mismas respuestas? No. Correct. No, teacher. No, ok. Si no las tienen, estas, no. son, estas son las respuestas correctas, ok? Let's do it. Let's, change, let's make the changes. Now, this type of sentences or this exercise is going to help you to think logically in English, ok? Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Okay. Este tipo de ejemplos nos ayudan a que comencemos nosotros a poner las oraciones de forma, en el orden correcto que deben ir, ¿ok? Que siempre nos recordemos okay, que, lo, que el sujeto va adelante, el primero, luego va el verbo y luego va el complemento, ¿ok? El Very complemento. good. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can I continue with the next activity? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes Did you yes. copy the answers? Yes. Yes. Do you have yes. questions? Do you have questions? No question. No question. No question. Okay. El orden, verdad? Sería sujeto. Subject, verb, complement. Complement. Okay. Very good. Now, I am going to show you here. I am going to show you here. And after that, we are going to practice to with simple present. Yesterday with simple present, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Let me put this right here. With simple present, right? We practice there are, that there are many words, many vocabulary that we can use, right? And we also practice here that we had some uh, specific vocabulary. For example, we have uh, this, give me a moment. We have the subject pronouns I. What's the next one besides I? You. You, 
Okay, then? He. He. She. She. They. It. We. It. it. We. They. 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 You. It. And you. Okay, very good. Very good. These, these subject pronouns, right? They are divided into forms, in two groups, okay? They are divided into groups. Group number one, right? Is I, you, we, and they, right? I, you, we, they. And the second group is called, the second group is called, it is she, he, it, okay? This group, this second group is called third person, sorry, third person singular. Third person singular, okay? We have first is I, you, we, they. Second group is third person singular. Okay, now, yesterday we practiced with I, you, we, they. For example, you drink water, right? You drink water, for example. They drink water, right? And today, right, we are going to practice the other two, but for the first group, I, you, we, they, what is the auxiliary that we use to make negative sentences in simple present? Do. What is the auxiliary? It's do, very good, do. Angie. Do is the auxiliary that we use, right? Very good, do. And what is the negative form of do? How we can make this negative? Don't. Don't. Very good. Don't is the contracted form. Don't. Right. What is the full form of don't? Do not. That. Do not. Do not. Very good. Do, do, do not. not. Very good. Now, look at this. For this, we are going to use for the third person singular. We're going to take here this. Diego. Diego, apures. Okay. For third person singular, we are going to use right now another, another auxiliary. And this auxiliary is not going to be do. The auxiliary that we are going to use for simple present right, is going to be does. Remember that, does. In negative, does not or doesn't, right? But first we need to see something because this is third person singular, people, remember, third person singular, third person singular. For third person singular, right? We are going to make first affirmative sentences. What is the formula for affirmative sentences? Who remembers? Subject, um... I just mentioned the formula My like... Verb. Hmm? Sub, subject must verb. Subject plus verb plus, plus complement. complement. Uh -huh. Very good, Angie. Complement. You are on fire. Very good. Subject plus verb plus complement. That is the formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. But here, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. For example, with she, right? She, give me a verb. Yesterday we practiced a lot of verbs, a lot of information. Give me one. 
She, she walks. She walks. Okay, she walks. And we're going to make a change here. She walks. She walks what? She walks every day, for example. She walks every day, right? If I say you, I would say you walk every day. But no, right now I'm saying she walks every day, right? Now, another sentence here with he, another verb. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we you had a walk. lot of words. Uh -huh. right. Ayer hicimos una gran she lista de vocabulario. Every... No, hagamos otra, hagamos otra. Ayer hicimos una gran lista de vocabulario. Oh, al final. Sleep. He is sleeps. He sleeps. He... Okay, listen. He sleeps. He sleeps what? In the night. He sleeps at night. Tonight. Yo espero que sí, porque si no. He sleeps at night. Okay, very good. Very good. And eat. Let's think about an animal, one of our pets. Uno de nuestros it's, animalitos. Eat, eat. It's, okay. Eat. Eat. Cat. Or... Se come un gato. No. It eats a cat. It's. <laughs> Uy, no, pobrecito. A chicken. Meat. Chicken. It chicken. Eats. <laughs> no, hombre. ¿Qué, uh, de qué animal mouse. carnívoro. The cat eat mouse. Uy, qué feo ese ejemplo. Pero bueno. It. <laughs> it. Chicken. It's. Lo mismo. ¿Y quién se come los pollitos? Pobrecito. It eats a mouse, ¿ok? <risa> Recuérdense que aquí no estamos hablando de personas. Estamos hablando de un animal. Eat. Eat. ¿Vale? Right? Por eso les digo, imagínense un pollito que se come, un gato que se coma una... No. Eat. eat right? Si fuéramos nosotros, sí. I eat chicken. Right? Ok. Right? But eat is for animals. For things. ¿Vale? Right? For places, it... right? It eats mouse. No, let's see. It eats cat food. El gatito. El gatito se come. It eats a lot of, a lot of cat food. Okay. Whiskas, by the way. Whiskas. Now, we have subject verb complement for affirmative sentences. She walks every day. He sleeps at night. It eats a lot of cat food. Now, when we are working with affirmative sentences, the verb, the verb in third person singular is going to have a change, okay? It's going to have a change. Remember the examples, and I'm going to show you here the examples that we practiced yesterday. And look at this. Can you see the PowerPoint? Oh, I did something yes. that I was not supposed to. Yes. Okay, it says here affirmatives. And look at this. Look at this right here. It says work, for example, I work, you work, he, work. she, she it, work. Works. We work. We work. We work. And they work. You work. They work. Okay. They work. Now we also have a change here, right? We also have a change here with learns, right? And let's see the other verbs that we have. Look at the change in the verbs. Mira que ha cambiado el verbo. The letter S. 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 E. S. Plural. Right. Yes. So we need to start working. We need to memorize verbs, right? So we can practice this verse, right? I work, you work, he, she, it works, right? I learn, you learn, he, she, it learns, we learn, you learn, they learn. Look at this. Only, only for third person singular, the verb 
changes in the affirmative form. Only in the affirmative form. Okay, only in the affirmative form. Now, let's go back. Let's go back. If we go here and we have the affirmative sentences, right? We have the affirmative sentences. I want to make right now negative sentences, right? I want to make negative sentences. And what do we use for negative sentences? We use doesn't, right? So it's going to be the formula again, subject plus verb plus complement. But this time we are going to add here does not plus the verb, okay? Does not plus the verb. So let's use this sentence right here and we are going to make it negative. Ricardo, how can I make this sentence negative? In full form or contracted form? Full form. She does not. Mm -hmm. What else? Is that it? Well, it uh, works every day. Okay, very good, very good. Pay attention to this. When we have doesn't, this is the auxiliary, that's not, right? We are going to delete the S. And it goes back to the base form. The verb goes back to the base form, right? Because we are using does here. Este es el verbo do, es el mismo verbo do que estamos aquí, pero acá le estamos agregando la regla de la S al verbo, right? We're adding the rule of S. So we don't need double rule of S. We just need once in the sentence. So you say, she does not walk every day. Okay? She does not walk every day. So what could be the negative form of this one? Nelson Bryan. He sleeps at night. He does not sleep at night. Very good. Listen to the pronunciation of Brian. He does not sleep at night. Very good. Now, let's see Asalia. What's the negative form of the last sentence? It eats a lot of cat food. What is the negative form? It does not. Does not. It's a lot of cat food. Okay. What happens to the verb, Asalia? What's the pronunciation it's, of the verb? It. it. Very good. Very good, Asalia. So that's the negative form, right? That's the negative form. Do you have a question about this? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. En afirmativo, el, el does no se va a utilizar, solo en negativo. Exactly, only in negative. Only in negative and in questions. Short answers. Okay. okay. El mismo uso que tiene el do y el don't. Lo usamos en negative sentences. We use it in questions. And we use it in short answers. Good question, Angela. Very good. Another question. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, cuando en la oración afirmativa, she works. O sea que el verbo lleva agregada una S. Exactly. En la negativa, she does. Does not work, pierde la S por el auxiliar. Exactly, very good. Yes, exactly. That is correct, Angela. Very good. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead. 
Ajá. Yes. ¿Cuál es la regla para que lleven ES? Oh, ok. Ok, yes. There is a rule for each of them. Most of the verse, most of the verse, they use the rule of S. Most of the verse do. But not all of the verse do that. For example, if you look at this, I'm going to show you one thing here. Give me one second. Okay. Remember, the general rule, or like most of the verse, they use S. Okay, most of the verse, but not all of them. So I'm going to show you my PowerPoint. Give me one moment. Cuando quiera cargar la PowerPoint, se lo puedo enseñar. Give me one second. Teacher, o sea que el dos not eh, solo va aplicado en las terceras personas, que es she, he, e it. Uh -huh. And it. Exactly. Y el do solo para I, I, you, we. I, you, we, they. I, I, they, sobre we, el tú. Entonces, en las terceras personas, que es she, he, and it, es uh -huh. donde se le donde va a ir el verbo con una S, ¿verdad? Ok, repeat again. Repita de nuevo, por favor. Repita de nuevo, eh, por favor. Que en las terceras personas, que es she, he, and it. Ajá. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Continue. Que en las terceras personas, que es she, he, and it, eh, donde se va dos, dos. Yes. Al do se le agrega es. Yes. Y en las exactly. primeras personas, que es I, you, they, we, Solo es el verbo do, solito. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. You got it. Con, con la única que, ajá, que en, la, que en las terceras personas los verbos se les aumenta una S, ¿verdad? Por In affirmative form. In affirmative form. In affirmative form. afirmativa. Only. Ya en la negare, uh, en la negare pierde la S porque... Se le estamos agregando el does not. Exactly. Exactly. No. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the answer that eh, Ricardo was asking. This is the answer for the question, right? Most of the verse, most of the verse, Ricardo, they will have only S at the end, like work, walks, right? Feels. But if your verb ends with ch, s, sh, x, or z, we are going to add es. For example, watches, passes, relaxes, rushes, right? Before we have another one, finishes. It ends with sh, right? Then, if the verb ends in consonant, the letter D plus Y, we are going to delete the Y. Le quitamos, le damos en la nuca la Y. We delete the Y. We add I plus ES. Study, studies, right? Study, studies. Number four, if the verb ends in vowel plus Y, don't change the Y. We only add the S, play, place. Yeah. Fíjense en esos dos, en esos dos verbos, porque los dos terminan en Y. Y muchos nos confundimos con eso y lo que debemos poner aquí, play es, no. Place. Consonante, vocal. 
Ok, consonante, vocal. Consonant, vowel. Consonant, vowel. Right? And irregular forms, what Angela was saying, we have do, is does. Go, goes. Be, um, is an R. And have is has. Estos son verbos irregulares. Tres, pero solo en simple, pre simple present. Okay? So this is the, 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 the form. If you can, please take a screenshot. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. Ricardo, any more questions? Do you have any other questions? Oh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Are you sure? Uh, so, so, but Tell me. in, in th third point, and if the verb ends in consonant, it's cuando el verbo termina en eh, i o at. Yes or no? Yes. Can you see my computer? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So look at this. It says here, if the verb ends in consonant, so this is a consonant, right? We are going to see, okay, consonant plus Y, this is a Y. We are going to delete the Y, la borramos, right? And then we add I plus ES, right? So the, the, the word would be now studies. It's not a study anymore, but studies. She studies a lot every day, right? And when we have a vowel right here, a vowel plus Y, right? We don't do anything. We just add DS. For example, the verb pay. Pay is pays, right? Vowel plus Y, we only add letter S, okay? Is that your question, Ricardo? Esa era la pregunta que me estaba haciendo, Ricardo? Uh, yes, and, pero, Uh -huh. Cuando dice, y, if the verse vowels, significa que cuando van dos, ¿cómo se llama? dos vocales juntas y termina, en, y, y termina en la Y, ¿es así? ¿O es por el sonido que hace la palabra? No, aquí es vocal, aquí es por la escritura, no por el sonido. Aquí es la escritura. Very good question. Here is the way you write the word, okay? The way you write the word, excellent. Not the way you, Perdón. you. Uh -huh. eh, David, Perdón, we cannot teacher, listen eh, to you. Un, uh -huh. un ejemplo. For example, here, well, we have the examples at, over there. These are examples. Los que vemos ahí son ejemplos. Ya, yeah, Francis. Esos son ejemplos de verbos que, que ya terminan con cada una de las reglas que se están explicando, ¿ok? Le voy a poner más ejemplos acá. Give me a moment. I'm gonna put you other list of verbs here. Es porque termina, son, modo, son informativos, ¿verdad? No. Por eso la S. No. no. ¿Y si fuera en modo interrogativo? No, it's, it's porque son afirmativos. 
Si son interrogativos, ah. no lleva. Because we're using... No, por eso, ajá, son porque son afirmativos, por eso termina en S. Afirmativos, sí, yes. Pero interrogativo no termina en la S. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let me igual, show... Uh -huh. yes. Igual que el negativo. Yes. The same okay. for negative. If you have the negative form, you don't have the S. Yes. You don't have the S. Yes. Good question. Very good. Let me show you more examples. Look at this. Let me put it bigger. Can you see the examples, guys? Okay? Yes. Okay, very good. Let me put it bigger. Okay, there we are. Now, like I said, most verbs, more examples. Leave, leaves, sit, sits, stays, stays, right? And this is an example. Look at this. This is one of the verbs, Francis and Ricardo that they end with A and Y. <laughs> Give me a moment. Nelson, please put your microphone off. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Now, this is an example, uh, <laughs> Ricardo and Francis, when you have a verb like a stay that ends with vowel plus Y, Right, we only add the S, right? Stay, stays. And then we have consonant plus Y. Look, aquí tenemos dos consonantes, por ejemplo. Right, pero eso no importa. Solamente tiene que ser una. Eso es lo que nos dice la regla. Try, we delete the Y, we add I, and then we put tries. Carry carries and then we have other roles if the verb ends in s z c h x we are going to add yes like misses buses caches fixes finishes right we add es and the exceptions or the irregular verbs go do it goes does has Right? Those are irregular verbs. So please take a screenshot because these are other verbs that we can use later on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Now, do you have any other questions about this? Any other questions? David, I saw you were, I, I thought you were speaking. David, lo vi que estaba hablando, pero no sé si estaba hablando con nosotros. No, no, no. Do you have a question? No? No. Okay. Eneida, more questions? No. No? Sure? Okay. This is just a negative form. Now we are going to go with the information that Eneida was giving us. Eneida was asking about the interrogative form or the question form, right? This is, these are the negatives, right? And she was asking, okay, what about the questions? The questions is pretty much the same. Questions in third person singular, okay? What are we going to do? We put does at the beginning, right? And then we use the subject, the verb, in the base form and the complement. And we add a question mark at the end. Does she walk every day? The answer, yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. How can we make the second sentence in a question, this, this one right here, let's make it a question. Does he sleep at night? Okay, go ahead, Franco. Does, does he sleep at night? Does, okay. Does he sleep at night? At night. Very good. Short answers, please, Franco. Yes, yes, he does. 
Yes, he does. Or? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. No, he doesn't. Very good. Now, tell me here, uh, Emerson. It eats a lot of cat food. How can I make that a question? That does eat a lot of cat food. That's it. Again, it's it uh -huh. a lot of a lot of cat food. Cat food. Okay, and negative and affirmative short answers. Emerson. Yes. Yes. It does. It does. Uh huh. Negative. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, very good. Okay, 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 okay. Now, please take a screenshot with the questions and the short answers. Right. Okay, do you have the information now? Do you have questions about this part? About the, do you have questions about the questions? Yes. Preguntas? Preguntas, chicos, pregunten, por favor. Siempre. En esto es en la cuestión de las preguntas va a ser igual que cuando ocupamos eh, el verbo to be siempre vamos a poner primero el, el does y después la pregunta ¿verdad? Very es good. casi que el pues sujeto and after that the subject yes very good analysis Ricardo very good matching yes we always put the auxiliary at the beginning it's the same with the questions let me show you something here. Let me show you something. Here, I prepare some examples. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I think it's here. Here, 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 here. Here we have the questions. Look at the questions here that we have. Questions in simple present. Remember with the verb work, Look at, look at the form. Do I work? Do you work? Does he? So it's always the auxiliary do or does at the beginning. Auxiliary plus subject plus verb. Plus complement and question mark. And that would be the question. Very good. Very good analysis, uh, Ricardo. Now, any other question? Any other questions? Alguna otra pregunta? No, teacher. No? Are you sure, guys? No, teacher. Okay. Yes, I am sure. Okay. So, ¿ya tomaron un screenshot de esto? ¿Tomaron notas? Yes. Yes. yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Porque ahorita se va a borrar y ya no. Por gusto. Okay. Pero... <laughs> hey, mire que si vea. Okay, we have like 10 minutes only. We're going to do something here. We are going to practice right now with here. Let me show you. We're going to create and practice a conversation. Of course, we are not going to finish right now because it's too late, but we're going to start and we're going to start working with one partner, right? And maybe, Ricardo, can you please help me and read this instruction? Create and practice a conversation with a new classmate 
using your own names and information in the right in the guide continue the conversation in your one way okay very good now with all the information that we have practiced right now simple present the verb to be occupations everything 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 we are going to create a small conversation okay this conversation is going to be done in a small groups okay so i am going to change the groups right now we are going to finish of course tomorrow but today we are going to start with the conversation okay we are going to work in pairs Okay, in pairs. Recuérdense con quién van a trabajar, porque con esa persona vamos a estar trabajando eh, mañana para la misma conversación. Okay? Let me go ahead and put you in groups. Remember, you are going to create a conversation with all the information, simple present, verb to be, occupations, everything. Okay? My name is, what's your email address, but it doesn't have to be very long. It can be short. And we will continue with the conversation tomorrow. Let me put you in groups right now. Please click on join. Click on join. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, Nelson, Jennifer, Angela, join your groups. a la que se, a que se refiere completa y practica la conversación con un compañero de clase usando eh, los pronombres creo que dice y la información en la guía continúa la conversación ahí no sé qué significa ahora la última parte right now we are using just a, we are creating just a conversation ok así con lo que saben a lo, a lo, a lo, a pie, como dicen ahí, ¿verdad? A pie nos vamos a ir ahorita. Solo hola le voy a poder decir entonces a Nelson. ¡Ey! ¡No! Ya me afligí, ¿cómo así? No creo yo. Oye, esta conversación, ¿cómo sería? La, digamos, la iniciamos ahorita eh, y la discutiríamos el día de mañana. Exacto. Right now, we have some time to, to, to get in touch. Mañana, la primera actividad es esta. Usted va a trabajar con Nelson. Sí, ok. Eh, okay. Estaba viendo que tenemos una actividad en mm -hmm. la página 20, el ítem 6 y 7. No yes. sé si eh, hace referencia a esta. Sí, un poco, pero lo único que el 6 y el 7... Nos dicen que ocupemos la, dice completen la conversación que ya está, pero no hay ninguna conversación ahí. Entonces okay. nosotros la vamos a crear. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yo he buscado esa conversación por cinco años y no la encuentro. <risa> Vaya, este, no sé, ahí tú eliges si quieres ser el que pregunte más o, o yo sé que pregunta. Voy a... si Ajá, porque sí. Voy a enviar un mensaje ahorita, díganme si lo reciben, ¿ok? En WhatsApp o ah, sí, ahorita, no sé ¿eh? ¿Con quién están trabajando? Ok, very good. Very good. I'm okay. just going to make sure I will go to the other rooms. Para eh, ver si lo okay. reciben. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you in a moment. Hello. Did you get my message? Hello. Did you get my oh. message? No se olviden de con quién están trabajando, ¿ok? No. 
Jennifer. Okay. Porque usted mañana va a trabajar con Jennifer. Jennifer con Josué, ¿ok? Don't forget okay. that. Mañana le voy a preguntar. See you in a moment. Y sería dos. Do. Ahí, sí, um, pancake. Okay. ¿Cómo es del desayuno? Ajá. I eat pancake. I eat pancakes, ok. I eat pancakes. I eat. Eat. Pancake. eat. I eat pancakes. Now, don't forget who you're working with, Ricardo and, and Angela, because you will work with her tomorrow, ok? Ok. Very good. Remember, remember, Angela, Ricardo, Angela, Ricardo. Good. See you in a moment. Yes, teacher. Hello guys. Hello, hello. Don't forget. Don't forget to. Don't forget who you're working with right now. No se olviden de con quién están trabajando, porque con esa persona van a trabajar mañana, ¿ok? Sí, sí. Okay. Okay. Creen su propia conversación, oye. Creen su propia conversación. Okay. Okay. See you in a moment. Va, bueno, entonces ya tenemos más o menos ahí. Porque mira la otra. Y la última que acabamos de preguntar. Ah, las otras. Questions. <risa> El correo podría ser. Ajá. What you say? Okay, what's your cell phone? Okay, what's your cell phone number? Mm, my number is. Espérame que lo tengo que anotar para deletrearlo. Numerar, deletrar, ¿cómo se dice? Numerarlo, perdón. Numerarlo, deletrar. Seven, four, six, four, six, eight, 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 porque si se H es la letra. Cosas distintas, ajá. Eight, three, three, six, four, 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 zero. Zero, ok, very good. Okay. Cuando vean aquí Solo que dice, pregunta, cuando vean aquí que se va a cerrar, recuérdense que tienen 60 segundos para terminar, ok? Ok, thank you. Ok. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So we were working with the conversation. Okay. First thing that we need to remember is that we are going to work with the same people tomorrow. Okay. We are going to okay. work with the same people tomorrow. Now, there is a conversation in the book. I know there is a conversation in the book. But what I want you to do is to create your own conversation. Okay. It's better. Que queremos nuestra propia conversación con lo que nos recordamos. Okay. Si hay una en el libro, sí, la podemos hacer después rapidito. But right now, I need you to create your own conversation. Is that clear? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Yes. So yes, tomorrow, teacher. we're going to work with the same people. But before you go, I will just call the attendance very, very quick. Right? Antes que se me vayan. Vamos a ver la asistencia. Eh, Ángela de Jesús Santa María. 
Present teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. <coughs> Present teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Salud. Present. Ok. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Francis Humberto. Present. Thank you. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Leida Susana Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Ok. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Jennifer Avidaí. Present. Grite, grite. Usted no le, no le hace. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. José Alfonso Palma. José Alfonso. Ok, hello, José Alfonso. Teacher. Ok, yes. Determina la asistencia, no escuché que me mencioné. Sí, lo mencioné, no lo mencioné. Sí, lo mencioné. Nelson, usted de los primeros, Nelson. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. No, teacher, no me mencionó. Pero ahorita sí, diga presente. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Uy, ya me salto los números yo. Ok. Ok, very good. Now, we have the ten, los mencioné a todos en la asistencia. ¿Sí? Ya el sueño. Sí, ok, very good. Ayer me salté dos. Bueno, ser la dos. <laughs> Now, tomorrow, as you know, there is an extra hour from 11, from 10 to 11, de 10 a 11. En la mañana les voy a mandar yo el, los que están asignados para mañana. Si hay alguien que no va a participar de 10 a 11, por favor, en este caso.